isn't it? So, just how ready is your car for winter driving? Here's some good advice from an automotive safety expert. It's important to be mentally prepared if something happens because when accidents happen or things break down, obviously it's not planned. We want you to be prepared. So here's some things you should absolutely have with you without question. A first aid kit, a flashlight, a blanket, some gloves, whether you're adding washer fluid or pumping gas. You should carry a fuel injector cleaner, a tire inflation product, especially if you don't know how to change a flat tire. I love these instead of the old striking flares. Those actually pollute the water. And the only place they're still legal is here in the U.S. So what I like is these magnetic flares. They are flash, they're solid, and you can drive over them and they're waterproof. They're about $12 a piece. I, have, I always carry two in every vehicle. Jumper cables. You can also buy a jump box, which I highly recommend. But also some protein bars or whatever your family likes to eat that doesn't go bad and a couple bottles of water. If you're stuck in the vehicle, you'll have some nutrition. The worst thing is being stuck in a vehicle without a cell phone charger and without any food. One of my favorite rules is ABC, always be charging. Uh, another thing, washer fluid. I carry extra washer fluid with me around because you never know if it's sloppy outside. And if you get stuck in the winter and you're spinning your wheels and it's on ice because we do get icy days, kitty litter, believe it or not, is a great solution. You put that underneath your tires and you will get traction. It will also help melt some of the ice underneath your tires. The things amplify when it's cold. Brake problems, steering problems, tire problems. And so you really want to make sure that you take care of your vehicle and be car care aware. During the winter, tires do lose tire pressure. For every 10 degrees of outside temperature change, you can lose one to two pounds of pressure. This sticker is right here. And if you go down and you look at it, you can see the correct tire pressure. So for the front, it says 35, the rear is 35, and you take a digital tire pressure gauge, push it straight onto the valve stem. This says 30, it's five pounds low. This will impact traction, braking, and snow handling. And it could save your life, and it could save you from being on the side of the road. So staying safe behind the wheel often has a lot to do with being ready for the unexpected. And 